Welcome back, YouTubers. This is Kong Rex's Prime coming at you with another State of the K2 Nightmare Zone 100 Day Challenge, Episode 10, and I believe it's day 7.5, maybe 7.9, almost day 8. I, I don't know. We'll see what the game does for me. It might just turn me back to day 7 because it tends to do that if I don't wait to the ticker to go over. And it didn't go over on the last episode. The last episode was intense. Uh, we got several things accomplished. I finally got mad and killed the play card towards the end of it. And while well, I still have to establish that base, there is a truck that I want to go pick up. So I'm going to do an Operation Condor right in the beginning of the episode. What is Operation Condor? Well, Operation Condor, if you guys watched any of my other uh, uh, playthroughs, is when I go out with a stealth character, stuff my way to a truck, fix it, or vehicle I should say, and bring it back to base. So that should take the first little chunk of the first uh, side of the episode. And then we'll see where we're at base wise. I have an idea of what I want to do with my base. So I'm going to switch up a couple things. And build two hydroponics. One for, med for, one for medicine and one for food. And uh, you know just hold it down there for a little while. And see what uh, missions pop up. Hopefully some vendors will kick on. And uh, you know. Some craziness happens so you guys get some enjoyment out of me uh, uh, getting my back pressed to the wall. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hit the community. She says day 7. I, I think it's a little more closer to day 8, but here we go. Let's rock! Man, I've been kind of itching to play this game, so feels good to get back into State of Decay. Alright, so we left off with her. That's right, we did. Um... Oh, uh, this dude. Good times felt like. Wow, I have a hostile enclave here. I know, I know they were gonna be hostile. I know that already. I'm gonna have to take care of those guys, man. And we do have an infestation building up right there, which is fine. It's no big deal. Is that a? Oh yeah, that's my truck that I left there. And there's another truck right here I want to pick up. And I think that's it. What's this? Another truck. Okay, so damn, we have... This one's a lot closer than this one. So I might actually just go get this one. Alright, fair enough. So let's put a home defense weapon on her. And um, after I do that, we'll be ready to rock and roll here. Let's give her... Yeah, why not? Let's give her the 50 cal. Alright, so if I'm going to stealth, Hagrid's tired, so I only really have two options. I got him or her. He's going to proc that mission, which is fine. We can go do that one next. You wanted to talk. What's up? I have something you might want to see. Could help us both. The problem with this mission is that it's been glitching out for me every single time I've tried it, so I'm not too, uh, too excited about it. Hydroponics is... Almost ready. The workshop's almost ready. Okay. Multiple Blackhawks, huh? Sounds like fun. Let's go ahead and bring the spec out with me. I need to bring a repair kit and a fuel. I don't have any fuel available. You kidding me, right? That's that's really weird. Okay, so I guess I don't have any fuel. Uh, let's go to the supply station right here. Yep. No. One. Two. Definitely gonna need two fuels. And let's go. Let's go do Operation Condo real quick, guys. This shouldn't take too long. This guy is not completely um unencumbered, but. Bring, let's bring my truck back first and then go grab the other one. Hagrid's going to be out the game for a good till night time almost. This should be interesting here. We'll kill a few of these clowns. How the hell did he notice that? 
This started off on a good foot already. This is just ridiculous, dude. I want to know how he was able to detect me. The other question I have. Wow, this is this is crazy, dude. I want to start early. I'm, I'm good at 18 rounds to go. I'm good with it. I just want to get my truck, you know? I'm not asking for a whole lot, but... I still don't understand how he, how that zombie was able to detect that stealth kill. That's not supposed to happen. That is not supposed to happen. Oh, look at that zombie just appeared. Beautiful. See if I can dodge all these damn zombies. I don't feel like taking any damage from them. Alright. <clears throat> so yeah, unfortunately I had to start that hot hot and early there. Put my truck away. And let's start the the real Operation Condor. Oh man, I should not have done that. That's, that's a bad move. Um I don't have the people to do that. Yeah, let's get that going. All right, so the next, um, oh wait, before I go out there and be an extra dummy, right? I don't think I was, I made sure that this weapon was fixed. So let's do that first. That's not too bad. And let's bring some, uh, some drinks, yeah. And an extra life. Because this is that kind of game. I don't know what it is about the zombies in, in this particular game. But they're sure very aggressive, man. They've been very aggressive. Uh, hell, since the second... Since I moved to my second base in this map. Which was... Look at this. These damn pharaohs just... Just chilling. I hope you guys do come this way. Come on. Come on. I'm right here. I'm not. I'm not even trying to hide. Oh, what the! F oh, he just came out of nowhere. Okay. Come on, dude. Get the hell out of here. This, this is some BS, bro. That was pretty sneaky on that damn zombies part right there. He um didn't expect them to come from that angle. I heard all the all the noise coming from one side. That was a surprise. That was pretty sneaky. I saw three and then two on one side, one on the other. That was that was pretty sneaky. That's the best uh coordinated attack those guys have ever done to me. Ever. brought extra rounds because it seems like this is uh gonna be one of those games where i'm gonna have to you know really fight these zombies off they're not um they're not being nice for sure once i get this this uh truck situated i'm gonna bring one of the low level characters and work on them all right workshop's complete that's good let's get the infirmary to part two yeah, they're both two. Okay, that's good. That's actually not too bad. All things considered. Let's get the, um... Yeah. Let's get this thing going. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll open that up and then make these level threes. And I'll be good to go. What I want to do is actually take off one of these beds. Take off one of these med places down. And then build a hydroponics in its place. What is in here? Anything? Of course not. Probably we have anything in the truck. 
put some fuel first. But what's up with these white trucks, man? That's all I have. It'd be cool if you can paint your vehicle the color you want it. Why am I so heavy? That's crazy. I'm pretty damn heavy. I'm trying to figure out why. That's only three and a half pounds. That's not going to reduce it that far. Alright, so. Let's go take care of this infestation right quick. And do a little looting with this character. I mean, I have him out. Might as well use him, you know. I do got that mission, which I should go kill that guy, but I'm going to need a, um, a, what's it called? A heavy caliber weapon. And I don't have really the bullets to engage that fight. I kind of wish I had a SOCOM rifle. Damn, he didn't see me. I need a rest. Come on, get your, get your stamina back, bro. Thank you. I like how my mouse cursor creeps out in the corner there. Sweet. That's not too bad. Use all the supplies I can get. That's it? No. Alright. Not gonna complain about these supplies. I'm gonna try to save these houses like this. I'm gonna try to save them for um for that DLC that's gonna come out. I'm guessing any day now. I was expecting it to be now, but it didn't pop now, so I don't know when it's popping. But it's gonna be under last said in the very near future. Whatever that means. Um Okay, what's the explosive heart? Ah, wow, that guy's far, man. I I need a better caliber weapon. Is there anything I can loot nearby that's worth it? Yeah, that's actually worth it. Let me not waste this daylight. Let me not waste this daylight. I'm probably going to end up killing that guy. I, I, I want to give him a third. I want to give him a third try, basically. Nice. Kind of need that. Not complaining. That's kind of meh. Empty. Could be better, I guess. Could be worse. Possibility of having another rough sack here, though. Oh come on, really? Going far with all this? No, we're not. There it is. That's what I thought. Let me um run back. I do have a circle of trust, so I'm gonna empty out my my bags out real quick. And uh, put that in there. I'm gonna hold on to this fuel. I'll tell you what, man, that is a super long drive. Having these little circles help a lot because you can actually move at a pretty good clip. See, and I'm not in any danger from any zombie. I mean, you can have that occasional herd that walks through the circle, but in terms of like um, being attacked by just a zombie, it doesn't happen. That's what I like to call it. Spontaneous zombie appearances.
All right, so how close is this uh, thing from being done? Damn, it's gonna be a while, that armor. But I got the important stuff going right now, so. Just rechecking real quick. Yeah, I do. That's, yeah, perfect, okay. As soon as that's at at least level two, I'm happy. I mean, I wanna get it up higher, but. I do plan to be in this space for a little bit longer. Let's go home. I want to see if I can bring a, uh, a SOCOM rifle or something. Boy, I got, I got the government trucks, man. <laughs> Every government vehicle is always white. Pretty hilarious. over here <clears throat> kind of want to change use a do I have any of those kits to be able to change uh, these vehicles over because I know I have one for small but I don't think I have one for uh, a big one let me see could be wrong I think a medium one. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I have any at all. I don't. You know what? That might be my other playthrough. Yeah, I don't have any of those kits. Okay, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. I'll be looking for it in a vendor, and if not, eventually I'll make one when I get a mechanic. Well, it's for a friend, huh? No, you guys might have to eat that because um, I don't have spare bullets. Um, so yeah, let's go, let's go to this mission, probably loot this area up real good as well, need to switch the weapon, just not a big fan of 9mm against NPCs, it's just not, not fun, never ends right, let's see, uh, do I have any more of these rounds, probably not. Probably not. Oh, I do. I got a few. This is enough. The last magazine here. Just need to bring in Molly Tops or a few bombs. There we go. We're good. We should be set. Single fire, 41 rounds. Yeah, it should be. It should be plenty for one guy. So, got a few in the back. Good. Zoom out, mark this. Damn, this is gonna be a long, stinking drive, dude. I'll probably end up using Haggery to uh, kill those two enclaves because she likes doing that. She has to heal up first. Uh, you're gonna stay in trouble, dude. Because uh, I got a mission to do first. Now, I'm thinking, guys, that I may may just kill this guy. I, I mean, I've tried twice to get this mission to work, and it glitches out whenever he gives me the name palm. I'm not sure if it's just uh, part of the Warlord's quest that's jacked up. This guy doesn't look cool as hell, so I'm not going to give it a second try. Now, if he had, like, a military outfit on, or he looked like Black Talon or something, I mean, Red Talon, then I would have been more, uh, I would say, more uh, inspired to try this a third time to try to recruit him. But being that he doesn't look like anything cool. Uh, look, another van. Okay, cool. I may sacrifice one of these trucks to pick up that van. Because in all honesty, it's... Uh, better to have two vans at your place than two trucks in a van. You're always going to use one car the most. Like I said, this is a long ass effing drive. I'm going to try to make it a trip worthwhile though. He's going to ask to kill a plague heart. And it's not that I don't want to kill the plague heart. It's more like, uh, you know, I've tried this 
two times already and I'm getting sick and tired of the mission glitching out. So I'm just gonna kill his ass. Be done with him. I've been very unlucky in this playthrough so far. What this is what day seven, day eight, and I still ain't, ain't really have a solid six, you know. I mean, even the guys that I do have are not. I gotta loot here, man. I I gotta loot here. I don't care who comes. It won't work. <laughs> I have to loot here. Because there's some good stuff here. I know there is. Yep, there it is. Not going far with all this. Crossbow's alright, but. This is uh, what I wanted, so. No way I can fit this. Yeah, we can fit it. We're gonna make it fit. Alright, put that there. Probably get rid of this crossbow for now. Put these uh, crossbow bolts in here. These are standard, right? Yeah. A bullet for a friend quest. Let me see. Let me see something, guys. I, I, I don't want to spend the bullets. Another white truck, man. This is this has got to be the the board of all the white trucks. I'm gonna see what they, what they, uh, what kind of characters they have, and if they have a medical, I think they do. I'm gonna try to recruit them. I'm not gonna give them the bullets. I'm not gonna recruit them though, because the way I look at it is that I'm, I'm looking for a better doctor. I mean, I have one. He's just not very good. You know, I don't, I don't want to spend time on him if I'm not gonna plan to keep him long term so I'm hoping I can pick up another doctor you know the odds of finding a doctor that has hygienists is like slim to none I know I'm not gonna be able to do that again but but I should be able to find a doctor with no negative traits which is what I'm looking for hey nice to see you come on in hang out Ooh, she's a cook, dude. Oh, yeah, but she has something wrong with her. That's why I didn't want to pick her up. Are you kidding me, bro? Uh, how about you, bro? What you got? Later. Seriously. Medicine. Here we go. Patricia Tucker. I might try her out, but I can't recruit him because I need to give him the ammo. This is dumb. Fine. Fine. Oh well, yeah, bro. Press of the ship. Thanks. Take it easy. Oh, these guys have threat reduction. That's why I haven't got rid of them. Hey yo. Nope, not picking them up. I think Patricia over here. What's going on, hun? Might be the character I pick up, but losing threat reduction, it's kind of Kind of a big deal. Because I'm not... I should be in the red right now with all this noise I'm making. I don't know. I guess I already gave him my ammo, so... What do you guys have? Well, you have that. That's good. That's good, too. Oh, I picked up the wrong damn thing. This is what I wanted. So nice to see you. Got anything useful you're looking to unload? Sure, sounds good. I grabbed, I grabbed the wrong thing. That's my fault. Medical supplies. I don't need that, so there's no reason to bust the influence. I'm not going to bust the influence for that. All right. So I think what I'm going to do here. These freaking zombies, man. <laughs> Put this in the trunk. I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is uh, pick up Patricia, take the chance. Hey, you're not dead. She has cooking, but she has 88 life, which tells me there's something wrong with her. 
so nice to see you. There might be something wrong with her as well, but I'm gonna take my chances. Ever feel like you'd be more appreciated somewhere else? This may sound weird, but I actually miss my old commute. Or maybe I just miss listening to the radio. Let's see what Patricia has. A Trish. Oh, look at that. She's funny. And she has uh, 20... See? That's a, that's a decent doctor. That's a good start. That's a good start. So, I'm, I'm going to get rid of uh, old slap nuts now when I get home. And uh, Patricia's going to be the main medical person. That's good. That's, I took a chance there, but... I did lose threat reduction. It would have been like ammo income. I would have been a little bit less reluctant to get rid of that community. But it's threat reduction. To be honest with you, it hasn't helped me. I've had them since day one. And I lost Shadow because of a mysterious surge from a zombie freaking herd that came in out of nowhere. With hardly any threat. So I'm still burning up about that by the way. That completely caught me off guard. Had I had like red or level three threat, then I would have known that was gonna happen. I would have been more prepared for it. But being that uh, it just that that raid came out of nowhere, man. And that's the thing about State of Decay. There are certain days that you're gonna get that random raid, and there's no explanation, there's no warning. It just happens. Like for example, between day three and day five. You're, that's gonna, that surge is gonna happen. It won't be as big. It'll have like two juggernauts, some plague zombies, and a bunch of zombies come in from nowhere. Cause that's how. Uh, if you guys watched my first season of State of Decay, season one, it happened to me. It happened to me in season two, but I was ready for it. It happened to me in season three. I was ready for it between day three and day five, and then it randomly happens periodically in the game so it'd be maybe two weeks down the road or a week down the road you'll see that surge happen but normally your characters are are set up a little better and you know you you do better in the raid basically and i'm kind of close on this gas right here you're gonna wish you hadn't run into me again i agree hey, i'm gonna bust this dude up and there's always a Plague place up here as well. What's in here? Just a machete. Yeah, good, good try. Oh, you too? That's fine. Who else wants some? Who wants some of Cobra? All right, so. Okay, we can loot this place up a little. Zombies must be busy eating somebody up. Goddamn dead. If you're listening, we need help right now. All right. Uh, no. Screw you, asshole. I'm gonna kill you, you buddy. Chance. Come on. You had your chance. I'm not sure this is the kind of community we meant to build. No, I don't have time. Sure this to... is the kind of community we meant to build. I don't care what you think we should have built. Damn, she's raw as hell. I want to take that Molly with us. For sure. Somebody needs help, so. I, I kind of, I tried to recruit that guy, what, two times already, guys? It's just, uh, you know, just wanted to move on. God darn it, really. Back up. Who needs help? Somebody was crying out. There's a wandering trader. Oh wow, that's far, dude. That is super far. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. What? 
what the hell are all these zombies coming from, bro? It's a juggernaut. What? I hear him, but I don't see. It. Oh, there he is. I'm gonna try to get out of here. Where the hell did these zombies come from, man? This is crazy. They weren't here a second ago. Alright, let's get the heck out of Dodge. I kind of want to help that community all the way to the south. There's also that Wandering Trader. So, let's go check that out. I'll come back to this area when... Um, I have to come back here. There's a plague heart anyway. But I'll come back to it when it's a little safer. I don't feel like dealing with a damn juggernaut. And three herds of blood plague zombies. It's just not smart. This is a good base right here, guys. If you don't have the, the Builders, I believe it is. Builders Legacy already. There's a, it has a generator. So it, it helps out a great deal. Do I have an outpost on the way out of here? Well, I kind of do, but it's kind of odd enough. Day 8. Alright, so I was right. It was day like 7.7, 7.8 or something. We were, what, uh, 30 minutes in? No, it was 7.5. I was right. So day 8. I'm going to just name the video Day 8. This is uh, going pretty Oh, man, there's that van there. I totally forgot about that thing. There's vans all over the place. I need to grab up. <laughs> Excuse me. This character should be getting tired pretty soon. Pretty soon, I should say, but... He has a stat call, it just keeps going. So him being tired doesn't really affect me as much as it would some other character. So I could technically just keep playing him if I need to. So I got two doctors at the house right now, one I'm getting rid of, and the other one I'm going to level. Um, hopefully make her a pathologist and kind of fill in the void that Shadow had. She kind of negates his negative penalty, he has a negative three, she has a positive four, so she, he, she kind of negates his, his crap, but I don't want to have characters with negative stats on my community. Oh, there's a plague heart here, I believe. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mark it so I know where it is for my reference. Beautiful. The armor is built. I can start working on a plus three medical facility now. As soon as I get the opportunity. And a plus three um, workshop as well. Oh, there's a blood plague right there, too. Good lord. Alright, where's this douchebag at? What's his mission? Oh, there he is. Normally, there's another blood plague. Yo, hold your horses. I'm coming. I wish I had a damn surveyor car, man. This sucks. Oh my god, they are getting killed. Come on, get your stamina back, bro. God damn it. You can't keep this up. Hey, 
Come on, bro. Are you serious? Where'd you come from, dude? This this is when I get mad right there. I mean, those zombies that just appear behind you are just sometimes... Oh, he's still alive. Yo, oh, he looks dope, too. Come on, bro. What's up? I'm hoping you can clear nearby infestation. Hell yeah, bro. Let's go. That's a cobra we're talking about, bro. Almost out of those. We're fine. What I'm going to do is... Where's the nearest... Okay, so it's over there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an outpost nearby... Let's get this thing going so I can use the manpower I got at the house. Um, let's make this a... Oh, you need knowledge mechanics. Wow, okay. Well, that totally blows. Let's get that going. I think that's all. Let's get the... Should I put the CNC machine here? No. What I do is I'm put this here, put the CNC machine here, get those mods going. Use that manpower while while I'm down down here. I'm gonna set up a quick outpost so I can free up my slots. Hey, we got a barnacle. Barnacle. Dude, for real? Can't. Get off my car, man. Oh, look at this, man. I'm gonna pick up my 9mm, too. This is getting a little ridiculous. Alright, so the plan here is... Oh, Hagri's... Hagri's good, so I might be switching her off for now. Well, everything seems calm here. All right, so let's uh, switch out posts right here. Let's uh, take uh, my first outpost out of here. I'm not gonna go in that direction, so. <clears throat> switch this one up. Okay, Confirm. it's done and this outpost is ready for use. Main thing I wanna do is get rid of all this stuff. Reload this is my this. last mag. Could be a problem later. Could be, but it's not gonna be, Cobra. We're gonna be, fr we're gonna be good, bro, promise. Um, home defense weapon. That's what I'm looking for. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna give him Stormbringer. Let's switch to Old Haggery. And, uh, just bring some light to be able to, uh, Prepare, please. Let's get the 9mm out. Where is it? Spec Op. Should have plenty of rounds for this thing. And then what I need to do is bring an extra set. And then just bring uh, fire bombs. Four grins. It's empty out the back of the truck. Should have never grabbed that fuel. That was dumb. Put that back. Where's this quest at? It's right here. All right, let's um let's use this daylight. Not bad. Not bad. Well, it's not much. It'll be all right. Where's this? Uh, here. A fridge, huh? It's not bad. That's that's not actually not a bad mod if you don't have anything else. Gives you a little bit more uh, storage space for food. Back. I don't think I have room to put it anywhere though. No, I do not. Okay. 
but it's not a bad mod. I mean, especially if you don't have a mod, then or you have an extra spot for it. It's not a bad thing. Come on, hey, let's loot this area up real quick. Take a bath to the daylight. <laughs> Cooking, huh? Do need a cook. And a freaking mechanic will be nice too. We're all clear. Hopefully we're starting a trend. Alright, let's empty out my bags. Yeah, we're we're about to lose daylight. Kinda sucks, but we alright. This guy looks cool as hell. I hope I can recruit him. I love I love like the military look in this game. Nothing. About to say, man, this is I'm pretty stingy. So at least I looted this whole area up pretty good. Mm, looks empty. This character is so dope, man. I tell you what, man, if this would have happened, that what happened to Shadow would have happened to this character, I think I would have. I would have gotten freaking pissed off and just deleted the community. I would have been done with the playthrough. Hey, I might have been done with State of Decay altogether. That's that's how pissed off I would have been. To be quite honest with you guys. <clears throat> so I guess I'm pretty fortunate that it didn't go down that way. All right, so we're good on fuel. Gonna knock out these infestations for these for this guy. I hope I get the opportunity to recruit him, and that he doesn't have any negative stats. Cause God, it's this game's been punishing me with negative stats. Oh, nice! There's a jeep right there. I want that thing. If I would have known that jeep was there, I would have traded this car for that in a heartbeat. But I don't have a repair kit handy right now, so. Get off him. Get off him. What's wrong with you? So a little respect. Ah, uh, yeah, I got that wandering trader. I don't expect them to have anything great, but you never know those things. How long does he have left? If I do this mission, I might um, go check on this water and trader. Yeah, let's go check on this water and trader real quick. I'm kind of hoping he has like a, a medium or a small. What's it called? Kick? Cause then I'm definitely gonna pick up that uh that truck really quick, that uh jeep. Put this fuel in here. All right, let's go. Let's, let's just have the food just in case I need it. With this character is. Wow. Okay. Yeah. We're definitely gonna, we're definitely gonna clear this area out. We'll be back. It's a good decision to bail out of here. Something was telling me to get out of here. I couldn't figure out why. Now I know. The force was telling me to get the hell out of there. Like, hey, uh, this ain't a good idea, buddy. I was like, well, you know, let me check out this Wandering Trader. It's a good thing I did, man, because if one of those damn screams would have went off, I would have had a fight in my hand. Might have been a fun fight, but... But I definitely want that Jeep, man. That's one of my favorite cars. Especially if I can mod it out. That'd be golden, then. Where the hell is this Wandering Trader at, dude? Holy crap. 
but I wanted to clear this area anyway. So. She actually get to meet the actual people from the network. That'd been cool. Joe. What up, get bro? Business. Cool. Sounds good. See if it was worth it. Oh yes, he was. Oh yes, he was. That's a must. Hell, all this is a must. I'm taking everything he has. This was worth it. Totally worth it. Come here, bro. So, what do we got today? Cool. You have a lot of good. What the hell? Come on, man. I just like I said on that last. Could you today? fix this? Could you just let us trade and do the stuff we have to do in the game instead of having to? I don't know if I should pick up this thermite. I might. Yeah, screw it. Why not? Why effing not? Right. I got the influence and we burn it on something useful. That mod is gonna be instrumental. So what do we got today? Yeah, sure. And making fuel bombs. So I'm glad I have it now. Alright, let's go back to the house. Let's square this up real quick. And then uh, go back and do his mission. I still ain't killed the plague heart in this episode. Might gear up for that too. We have a blow here. Yeah, yeah. Wow, the amount I don't know if it's because of the day or what, man, but the amount of zombies I'm running into now are a lot, dude. Some would say too many. I'm home and not dead. My two favorite things. A bloater! Why is this a bloater at, bro? Supplies delivered. Go me. Put this here for now. This crap, man. Are you serious? <sighs> I tell you, man. It just this game just finds a way to get you mad. So most of the game is intent to do it, you know. Put all this stuff away. That mod right there was totally worth the effort and time. That it took to actually get it. Let me square up my uh, my homestead here. Get rid of that douchebag that's not worth it. Let's go ahead. Just want to make sure he doesn't have a good gun. He does. He's not taking that gun with him. Sorry. Don't care for his backpack at all. But he's not taking that vector with him. No, sir. You leave this vector right here. Thank you. As a matter of fact, I'll leave all this too. Let's see, uh, you have a cheapy weapon I can give him? Eh, he can take that, it's fine. Do we have a cheapy gun? No, not really. Not one that I'm willing to give up, so. You're gonna go home like this. Good luck to you, buddy. It's been nice knowing you. Yo, Haggard, how'd you get up here so quickly? I like I like how I always use her as the um as the chick to <laughs> kick people out. Yet. To kick people out. <laughs> it's like the third dude she kicks out, like, yo, you gotta go. I don't like you. Get the hell out. You know? Good to see ya. Damn, couldn't even wait for him to wake up, huh? 
You know the drill. Decision made, yada yada. You gotta go. Fuck. Damn. I'm gone. Fucking inbreeds. Goodbye, Nate. I'm, uh... Hey, what happened to old girl? Oh, here she is. Just want to set her up real quick, make sure she's good with, um... With stuff. She doesn't have a gun, see? So I want to make sure she's good. That's funny as hell, dude. She she kicked out three dudes in one episode. That's got to be a world record for me. Hilarious. Let's set her up. Ah, it's just too heavy. Let's let's give her the AK. And uh, some of these and some cheap meds. Cheap meds. There we go. Good. Take that off. I'm a little full at the moment. What the hell are you in here, little fool? Come on. Uh, I don't know about that bag. There's be something that matches her. You know, that's it. Alright, she's good. I don't care what kind of melee weapon she has. It's fine. Um, let's go back to Haggery. All right, let's go back to his mission. Let's wrap this up. Oh, that is funny as hell, dude. I, I kicked out three dudes in one episode. Could name this episode the boot. Might even name it that, actually. Number one in trainer. Cobra's personal in front of newcomers. I might do that. I don't know if I'll be able to pull that off this episode, but time is starting to get a little short here. There's a horde out here. Oh God, no! God damn it! I knew it, man. Come on, head, get out, baby. That was just perfect timing. Perfect timing, dude. I didn't even think I was that close, but... Come on, dude, get in the truck, man. I know you jacked up. I'm gonna try to make this work. Now I gotta also level the doctor. I also got those other characters as well. I think the next episode, guys, that I that I make, it's gonna probably start off close to being daytime. I'm probably gonna go around the first half of the episode being pretty boring, I think. But I gotta level those characters. You know, they can't they can't stay how they are. I gotta get them their secondary skills at least. At a minimal. And break their hero bonus as well. So I'll probably be playing that doctor. Damn, that's a pharaoh. I ain't worried about a punk ass pharaoh, dude. I hate those things, but I don't definitely worry about them too much. I'm gonna go around this backside. Kinda of dangerous at night, but Beds are everywhere. I don't have time for this. Locate locate the damn screamer. We'll be in good business. I find his ass. Right there. Enjoy peace All, right. Eternal, All right, now I'm clipped. That's beautiful. 
I ain't afraid of you guys, dude. Let me get my stamina real quick. Get off him. Ruffle you a little bit. What the hell? Letting crippled zombies whoop your ass, bro? Maybe you're not as tough as I thought you were, man. Apparently we still have a zombie somewhere. I hear him. Oh, there he is. He's coming. Come on, dude. Get the hell out of the way, bro. I've been needing to kick a whole lot of ass. I'm good to go if you are. Let's see what you got, bro. Assault, which is yucky. That's not a bad idea. Ugh. Hmm? You got something for me? I'm on board with that. Oh, yeah. We're going to take this from you, buddy. Quick. Not even going to ask questions. Come on, let's go. I don't like his... Uh, Shooting ability assault, but it is what it is, I guess. Ah, right, come on, man. How many of these zombies I gotta kill in this area? Great. Fantabulism. Let's, um, take this guy home and then, uh, I'll be able to go to my house, man. I don't. Jeez. I don't know what the hell way is up here. Think I'm going the right way? Yeah, I am. All right, so... 57 minutes into the episode return this guy run back to the base defend it hopefully it doesn't get attacked by a huge surge i got the right character though to defend it so everybody has a gun should be okay in theory Welcome to our humble abode. Thank you. God darn it. Come on, happy. What the hell are you doing, dude? Just execute. Oh, uh, man, you must be pretty badass, then. Are those who've earned that right? Bye. Think that's the truth. Some ass kickers later. I know where to find them. Hell yeah. Cool shit. How much time I have? Eight minutes. Uh, don't be a stranger now. Come on in. I need to start using uh, my CNC machine now. I'm trying to pick up a lot of supplies. Beautiful. More, more ammo. Uh oh. Jeez, son of a mother. Disrespecting ass zombies, man. I'm trying real hard, guys, to cut back on the cursing, right? Nothing here. Real hard, but as my blood pressure goes up, this could be a big help to us. I tend to, I tend to forget that I'm trying not to curse. But I do try to make the attempt, you know, at least. I need to check out this place out a little further. Oh, this again. I still have a few minutes. So, I can do that real quick. Alright, so we got that one guy that we kind of saved. Captain Douchebag over here. Well, we found everything we can possibly find. Okay, that's good. Now, can you come over here? I need to check your stats real quick, dude, before I leave. Because I. Definitely want to stay in touch with these dudes. 
kick. Come, come on, guys. God darn it, man. Hey. She has a cool outfit too. Learn survivor. Craftsman. Useful, but not needed. Useful. I don't have a crafter. Driving. Wow. I have a driver though, unfortunately. So it's either it's probably gonna be McDonald or this guy right there that I that I'm gonna try to get. Cause I can train him to be a mechanic. Alright, let's go to the house. Crafting's pretty nice, but it, it's only really good like when you first initially um make your base, you know. After that it's just kinda like eh, you know. And then you can make your storage facility a little better, you know. Other than that, I mean, craftsmen, the timers are better. You make less noise, you lose less materials. Man, I want that freaking Jeep so bad. I will have to do a special operation to get it. Just don't have the time right now to do it. But definitely going to make a mental note of it being down here. And McDonald's. The name of that guy, McDonald, I think his name, last name is, he's high on my priority list to pick up as well. Just gotta keep my fingers crossed that so he doesn't have any negative traits. But he's definitely high on my list. I knew he was gonna go right, I don't know why it didn't go right. Definitely on my list. I think the two um, hardest uh, things to get in this game is ammo and um, and medical supplies. Those are the two, to me, most sought off items in this game that are hard to get. You can craft them, but it requires you to have supplies. So, and it takes a while. It's not like you get. You can't craft like two or three at a time. You always craft like one. It's like it takes forever. So I mean, if you if you have to tread water, you can. It's just it sucks in that in that respect, you know. Oh my goodness, dude! How many juggernaut pads am I gonna run into today, dude? I need some coffee, man. Woof. Lord, that mercy is tired. Come get... Come get some of Hagrid. If you want it, I'll give it to you. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. You, you want it too? You know... You try to you try to be polite with these damn zombies, man. You you try real hard, but they always find a way to piss you off. All right, so what can I upgrade here? Anything? Let's keep my noise noise level down for now. I do want to um do that distillery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this with her, just so that um. Get some nine millimeters and some of those going. Okay, cool. Come on, people, let's fight. Because if we have a choice, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start this up. But when I start seeing it, what kind of rate it is, then I'll switch over to that doctor. Or at least that's the plan. The under yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's get jiggy with it, baby. How is 
there? Oh, uh, okay. It doesn't look like a bad raid. Now take its head off. Come on, man. Why? You always select the wrong dude. Alright. Alright, let's switch to a girl now. Let's go, Trish. Let's get Trish uh, some XP. Let's fix any damage right away. Let's see what kind of bonus she has now. Oh, you don't know until you break recruit. Okay, that's fine. Alright, Trish, you can go back to chilling. I got a little bit of business still to do with Hagger real quick. Just a little bit. Let's, uh get this bad boy going so my plan basically is to since I only have five community members I'm gonna take out probably yeah this one take this out replace it with one of these and then get this house I think it's that one right there I think this one will work too I think if I loot it and uh, yeah it might it might work it might serve as a, as a bed and um, when I do that, that's going to, um, I'll start making meds, like a massive amount of meds. And I could probably drop this other med place right here and pick something else up, like supplies or something. So that that's the plan. I'm probably going to leave that for the next episode, though, for sure, because that's going to require a little doing. So that's the that's future plans. Either way, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for the share, the likes, all of that great stuff. I do stream this on Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but this particular week from October 1st to October 9th, I will not be Twitch streaming. I will not uh, be putting up too many uploads. Like I said, I'm going to space these out a little bit, and um, I'm going to be uh, away from home, basically. And, um, yeah, with that said, I am going to... Uh, layer these these uploads that I'm doing now basically a week in advance so that I have some content drop in between uh, those 10 days that I'm going to be away so there's not a big gap and uh, you guys don't unsubscribe because you think that I'm not producing anything so hopefully you guys stick around and uh, keep watching my stuff keep keep on sharing my stuff and uh, most importantly I want to thank all the new subscribers I've picked up in the last 10 days. I think I've picked up like 20 subscribers. I'm super stoked about that. Most of them have been because of State of Decay. So, again, thank you again. Um, I think that's all the news update I got for now. This will be the last video I post until I get back on October 10th. So, for State of Decay. Um, that's all I have for now. Light, love, and peace. Congrexes. Out.